this guide explains how to set up a PXL500 controller in the doors.net software using a LAN520 module. It assumes you have already worked through the steps to install and license the doors.net software and that you have also set up the PXL gateway. In addition, you will need to install the Lantronics device installer software which is used to find and then change the IP address of the LAN520. The device installer software can be installed from the following URL. Before setup, the LAN520 must be factory reset. The factory reset procedure is as follows. Power the unit off, place a jumper across both of the factory reset pins, power the unit on, power the unit off again, and then remove the jumper from the factory reset pins. The factory default is for the LAN520 to be configured for DHCP, so once connected to the local area network, it will try to obtain its IP address automatically. If it doesn't obtain an IP address, it will be set to a static IP address that begins 169.254. You must now connect the LAN520 module to the TB13 connector of the master PXL. The master is the controller addressed as number 1. The LAN520 should be mounted with the Ethernet port and the LEDs on the right hand side of the PXL PCB. On the PXL there are also two jumpers labelled JP6 and JP7. These jumpers both need to be removed to correctly configure the PXL for Ethernet communications. A static IP address should now be assigned to the LAN520. For initial setup, the host PC should be connected to the same local area network as the LAN520. Power up the PXL500, which will in turn provide power to the LAN520 module. Once powered up, you should see one amber LED and two green LEDs on the LAN520. On the host PC, open Lantronics device installer software. Confirm any messages that appear as you log in. Check the MAC address written on the white sticker on the LAN520 module and then locate that same MAC address within the device installer software. Select the LAN520 module in the list, then click the Assign IP button. Click Next again, then enter a new static IP address. You can also change the gateway IP address if the LAN520 will be located outside of the local subnet. Click Next again. Click the Assign button and then wait for the success message. Close the assignment window and device installer will then display the new IP address. You can now close down Lantronics device installer. We now connect to the PXL500 in doors.net. Log in to the doors.net software. The default username and password are both admin. Go to setup, hardware setup, then the all tab and this will display the hardware tree. The PXL gateway will be listed at the top of the hardware tree, so highlight the gateway and then check in the gateway properties that it's online. You will now need to create a network communication channel, so select communication channels and then click the network option. Highlight the new channel, enable it and then give the new channel a description and then save. Next step, highlight the PXL gateway and click Add PXL. Enter a new description for the PXL and if you know it, select the exact controller model. If not, the model will be detected when the controller comes online. If in doubt, choose the default option, then click Accept. The new master PXL will be added to the hardware tree, so highlight the new controller and in the controller properties, locate the communication channel setting and select the new network channel that you created. 
as it's a network channel you can also now enter the IP address so enter the IP address which is programmed into the LAN 520 and then save the controller settings at this point if you open up the live events grid within a few seconds you will see controller online events you may also notice that there is an update indicator next to the controller but when the controller initially comes online it will be automatically updated so within live events just look for the update network complete message the controller will then be set up and ready to use if you can see the LAN 520 module you will notice that the bottom green LED is now flickering slowly thank you for watching